Hey, what's going on, people? This is Speeder Man. I haven't done a film review in quite a while, but I've uh, been very busy. But I did finally watch the movie Blight of Humanity. And this is one of the Marion Dora films, part of the double feature, along with uh, The Yearning of Maria D. So I watched this film, and I have to admit, I was a little nervous because I kind of know exactly what I'm in for when I watch any of his films and this was no different his films have a way of staying with you way after you watch them you're left with this feeling like WTF what the fuck did I just watch man like you know you're just left with this feeling and it never fails after watching the Marion Dora film so this film is about three people it's uh this girl this shy quiet girl named uh Marietta and there's a retarded dwarf named Virus. And there's this older guy named Frack. And um, the only guy that really, the only person that really talks in the movie is the guy named Frack. And so he's kind of like, I guess he's kind of like, acts like a guardian to the dwarf in Marietta or something like that. Um, there's very little dialogue in this film. So, you know, yeah, you don't really care what the dialogue is like in most of Marion Dora's films but um yeah so they're walking the whole movie is just them like walking in the countryside and just enjoying nature just walking around smoking you know just chilling in nature chilling in the woods and the forest and uh yeah for the first half of the film nothing really you know there's just nothing really happens I mean but the last 10, 15 minutes of the film is when the film goes into full force, depravity, you know, uh, sickness, animal cruelty. Uh, I feel really bad for the girl, for Marietta, towards the end. And if you guys have seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, just total abuse. Oh, man. Uh, impaling and... I feel like the ending for this film is a reference to uh, Cannibal Holocaust. There's an impaling scene in that film. And I feel like that was kind of a reference to that film. Um, when you guys see the film, you know what I'm talking about. I couldn't help but think that. Like, you know, okay, that reminds me of that that, that scene in, in Cannibal Holocaust. Um, anyway, so, yeah, man. The film is not that long. It's only like an hour and 17 minutes. And... It sort of did drag towards the middle. I'm not gonna lie, but like Carcinoma, the the last 10, 15 minutes, I was ready. I, that's when the movie really like goes to full force with the with the disturbing just scenes, and I'm like, dude, this is too much. I have to admit, I did look away, you know, in some parts, uh, the parts with the pigs. Um, you guys know what I mean. And yeah, um, definitely hard to watch. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. Um, but yeah, man, um, all the signature things of a Mary Nora film are here. The music, the weird music, the, you know, the depravity. Um, but yeah, I would say at the end of the day, I give this film a 8 out of 10. Uh, I like that it wasn't that long. It felt like a lighter version of uh, Angels of Melancholy or Melancholy Their Angle. And, you know, the cinematography is there. The weirdness is there. All the things you expect from Marion Dora film are there. And, yeah, man, it's a very sick film. <laughs> I would say if you have a strong stomach, for sure, watch it. Uh, this is your first Marion Dora film. I would not recommend this one. I'd recommend something like Cannibal or something like that. But, yeah. This is only for extreme exploitation fans, man. If you if you're not used to watching extreme sick stuff, you stay away from these films, man. I'm telling you right now. But yeah, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next review. All right, peace.